Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to share with you a really fun braided hairstyle that I have wanted to share for the longest time. And don't be intimidated, this hairstyle is a lot easier than it looks. I'm going to break down all of the steps. You already know how it is. I got you. But this hairstyle is so beautiful. I could picture this as a bridal hairstyle. It's also great for every day, especially heading into spring. Sometimes just switching up your hairstyle can feel so good. But enough talking about it, let's get started. All right, so for hair prep, since this is a braided hairstyle, it's going to work best on second or third day hair. You want the hair to have like some grip to it. But I just washed my hair, so if your hair is super soft, slippery and clean. I'm going to share with you my favorite ways to just add some grit and texture to the hair. All right, so the first way is to add some curls. So I'm going to go in with a one and a quarter inch barrel, and I'm just going to lightly spray each section with some light hold hairspray, brush it through before adding my curls. And I'm just going to curl everything away from my face. This will just help keep the hairstyle nice and smooth. All right, we've got some curls. I love the shine that this hairspray adds to my hair. It's so nice. But my favorite way to add some grit to your hair is with some dry shampoo. So grab your favorite dry shampoo. You just want to spray this all throughout the crown of your head. This will just help dry out the hair a little. It's going to add some texture without any crunch or residue, so it'll still be really easy to braid. And I forgot to mention, I did use a heat protectant. I use the Bumble and Bumble Styling Cream. This is from their new Bond Building line, and this has a heat protector built in. It protects up to 450 degrees. This was my first time using it, but I really liked it. It left my hair nice and smooth. There was no frizz, and it didn't weigh down my hair. But I will keep you updated. All right, hair is prepped. Get your arms ready and let's turn around and braid. All right, to start, smooth the hair back at the top of your head and then place your fingers on both sides of your crown and you just want to trace downwards, meeting in the middle to create a triangle-shaped section and then completely section this off. Next, tightly secure it with a small hair elastic and the ones that I've been using lately are from Goody. And when I'm using these small hair elastics, I like to place a hair clip underneath the section. I find this just really helps to prevent any hairs from getting tangled and then breaking. Once secure, pinch and pull on small pieces of hair throughout the top section. This will create that really pretty texture and volume. And I would recommend starting with really small pulls and pieces and then slowly pulling more like slightly larger pieces. Next, give your ponytail a brush, remove that lower clip if you added one, and then just clip your ponytail up out of the way. Next section, place your fingers at your hairline about an inch down from your previous section, and you just want to trace back and down in a V-shape, meeting in the middle. And then completely section the section off from the rest of your hair, and for a more polished look, you can smooth down the sides with a comb before tightly securing your ponytail with a hair elastic. Then same idea as the previous section, pull on some small pieces to add some volume and pull upwards at the top and then you can slowly pull downwards at the bottom to create that swooped look. But you could also just leave it if you want to. Alright, time to create our pull through. So unclip that top ponytail from earlier, divide it down the middle into two sections. You have a left and a right. And then grab that lower ponytail, bring it up in between those two sections and flip it out of the way. For your next section, place your fingers at your hairline, again an inch down from your previous section, and just trace back and down in a slight V-shape, meeting at the back in the middle. And then gather in those two pieces from earlier into this new section and completely separate it from the rest of your hair. And then tightly secure it all together with another hair elastic. Alright, same as before, pull on the tops of the sides to add volume, and then pull on the bottoms to create that really pretty swooped look. All right, unclip that top section from earlier and you can see we've created our first pull through. So it's time for the best part. Hold onto the hair elastic that you just secured with one hand and then with the other hand, pinch and pull on small pieces of your pull through. And you want to pull on pretty much every single piece of hair to create that really full bubbled look. So pull on the sides, the front, reach for those ones in the back and this is really going to help your hairstyle so go ahead and make these sections as large or as small as you like, but one tip that I always say is start small because you can always make the braids larger, but it's not easy to make them smaller. 
Cool, so now we have our very first pull through. All right, time to create another pull through. So take your ponytail, divide it down the middle into two, so you have a left and a right, and then grab your lower ponytail, bring it up in between those two sections and flip it out of the way. And then place your fingers behind your ears, about an inch below that previous section, leaving some hair down at the nape if you can, and any face framing pieces. And secure with another hair elastic. So once you've fanned out the sides, unclip that top section and pancake your second pull-through braid. I really like the look of the top one being slightly smaller than the second one, so I went ahead and pulled the second one a little bit larger. All right, one more time, divide your ponytail down the middle into two equal sections, and then grab that lower ponytail, bringing it up in between those two sections, and then clipping it out of the way. Now gather all the remaining hair, leaving out any face framing pieces. Once you've secured everything together, unclip that top ponytail and you guessed it, pancake your pull through. And for this pull through, I made it slightly larger than the last. Next, secure the two ponytails together and I tightly wrapped a small piece of hair around the ponytails plus those side sections and then I just secured it all together with a hair elastic. Now to finish off the look, I added some volumizing powder to my fingertips and just massaged it into the base of the ponytail. I really love this stuff because it creates a big voluminous ponytail without having to tease your hair. And then I just quickly touched up my curls and how beautiful is this hairstyle. It's the perfect look for spring. I can't wait to see your recreations. So there we have it. What did you think? I am feeling so re-inspired for spring. But I can't wait to see your recreations. Definitely tag me on Instagram. I'll leave it linked down below. But I really hope that you liked today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.